Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through together the Bitcoin chart, the current pattern that is trading, the targets that we have on this pattern and I will also be sharing with you in this video exactly how Bitcoin will be trading today. We'll be going over the exact price action that will happen on the Bitcoin chart. So if you are looking forward to that prediction, make sure you stay to the end of the video because within this, there is going to be a lot of key, important information shared with you. So without further said or do, let's go into the analysis. So to begin here, I want to start off with the pattern that's forming on the Bitcoin chart. Then we'll go into a little bit of the psychology of trading and how we can manage our time effectively. Then we'll go through the targets of the current pattern and then we'll end looking at the UNES Elliott wave count, which I know everybody's absolutely loving. You know, you could give a like to this video straight away because, you know, UNES is absolutely on fire with these Elliott wave counts right now. Oof, yeah, Let, let's go into first the current pattern that we have on the Bitcoin chart. OK, this is looking on the 30 minute time frame. Okay, the 30 minute time frame, we have to remember there's no such thing as perfection, but we do have obviously a downtrend, but still we had that first move to the upside. And what we have actually started to form here is a left shoulder. We've started to form a head and we have the potential of forming another right shoulder here for basically a head and shoulders pattern. This is a known as a bearish pattern. And it obviously has targets towards the downside. So that's the first thing to bear in mind. We're starting to form bearish patterns we are starting to form extended consolidation above support. And these are just two factors to bear in mind, which one could consider more bearish. Obviously, you do still have the UNES Elliott wave count too. But we're starting to see a few different signs on the Bitcoin chart here, which could see this move to the downside. Um, before I go over the targets of to the upside and to the downside of this pattern, I'd like to first give you a little bit of look into the psychology of this and how we can be managing our time. Uh, this is a post that I put yesterday inside of the Chart Champions Discord group. And I'd just like to briefly read this before we get to those targets, because I, I truly feel it can actually help you with managing your time. Um, like one of the members here says, choppy days like this are great to study the content on the website and go through it again. Personally, he's rewatching the footprint module to master exocharts. What, what I'm saying is recently on Bitcoin, this has been fairly choppy price action. Okay, unless you're in very quickly and out very quickly of your trades, not getting greedy, expecting massive breakouts, you got to get in and get out really quickly. Then it's really choppy. Okay, so what I'm saying here is I recommend the majority of people right now, because Bitcoin has been too, you know, has been really choppy, you're only literally getting one or maybe two trades in the whole day. On days like today, you should be doing one of two things. Firstly, using this time while Bitcoin is going sideways to study all of the content on the website and start learning how to trade correctly, or alternatively, going on to a high term time frame to prepare yourself for the big move that is going to come shortly on the Bitcoin chart. You know, you've got to have your plan ready for if we start to break up, you've got to have a plan ready for if we start to break down. Uh, you do not want to be in the position of being frozen when the move comes because you were not prepared, you know, and you're so focused on the one minute chart that you forget to zoom out and actually be ready for when this move does come. Uh, I, I expand slightly on, upon this point saying, for example, let's say the move happens when I'm in, an, in a meeting, I'm driving, etc, etc, and I'm unable to actually get to my computer. What you have to have done is, you know, if you have had that plan preset and ready, uh, you're not going to be sat there in the moment frozen thinking what do I do next you know you have no idea or or alternatively as I'm saying here what some people will do is just you know if it starts to go up they're just going to buy FOMO buy in the time because they had no plan and then they FOMO buy and price goes straight back down and they just end up losing money through their lack of a plan you know so what I'm recommending is it's important to look at my high term time frame charts and the other top traders here understand them and then not need for us to say do this do this do this but you know if you can start to get that uh, understanding and understand the education that we're giving you here you know you can start to make your own really informed decisions and then that way if you do get a massive move instantly then you know you're prepared and ready for that that's the key thing in trading you've got to have your plan and you've got to be ready so i just wanted to briefly talk you through i wanted to talk you through that you know the needs of actually having a having a plan ready okay and now i want to move on to this section of the chart and uh currently i my, my plan right now 
I'm, I'm still in a short position so as you can see here in a short by the way look at this ladies and gentlemen uh the daily level will buy bit 30,830 to around 30,820 today we actually hit a low of 38,000 exactly to the dollar by the way so 38,000 38, what am I on 30,800 okay so the low today was 30,800 and we had those daily levels by the way at 30,830 to about 30,820 um but we're going back to you know a few days ago you can see still in my short I've, I've i have my plan and i'm basically just trading the plan i just shout out to this guy by the way that <laughs> thanks to daniel and the rest of you uh he's making more money through trading right now than he does in his full-time career you know, he's got a full-time career a job and he's still making more money than trading but how do we do this we have a plan my plan is the moment you know it's been the same now for the last few days i'm short basically uh i got a nice entry and now it's just monitoring the charts so the targets of the current pattern that we have if we're looking at this as a potential head right shoulder and uh you know a left shoulder that's been put in here for a head and shoulders then we obviously can have a target off of this trade uh, I must acknowledge, first of all, that it's absolutely not a perfect looking head and shoulders. We might actually have a really complex head and shoulders where it looks as if we could have also, almost formed two left shoulders ahead and then going on to form two right shoulders. So this is a pretty complex head and shoulders pattern. I'm not going to go over the complex version. I'm just going to give the very basic version, which would be looking more as a left shoulder head and, and right shoulder, although we could have potentially two right shoulders. So I don't want to go too high, high level in this. Basically, the way that we can get a target is really, really simply from the neckline of the, you know, of the head and shoulders up to the high of the head. And what we would be doing is moving this to the neckline. And that really simply gives you that breakdown target. Uh, you can see that that would be coming in at around basically $27,000. So if we do start to heavily break down here, then you would know, OK, I have a target of $27,000. Uh, that that region anyway that region is going to be your your target for the short position uh one thing to bear in mind is that obviously when you're trading these sort of patterns if you're shorting down here you know it's obviously not a good location to short because this this is you know you could literally view this as a take profit target for example so you have to remember that when you're trading these patterns you don't want to just jump in straight away uh, thinking oh my god it's going to 20 you know you want to you know for example wait for the increases in price wait for these increases in price you know you don't want to be sh FOMO shorting when you're literally down at the low so like if I was in no trade right now I would not short this because technically speaking this is support right now okay so this region here is support right now it's only when it's lost that it becomes resistance so if you know if I was in no trade I, I wouldn't short here even though like I am in a short position I still would not open a new position here as a short because we are at support. So, you know, you have to be patient. You have to have that patience in trading, wait for the increases in price because I would only short when price is increasing and I would only long when price is decreasing. You know, you don't want to get into the situation of longing, you know, when we're talking about a swing trade, obviously you can take sculpts here, but you don't want to get into the situation of longing, for example, this move up, which was actually just a swing failure pattern and now shorting the move back down you know you you've got to wait for your increases to short and your decreases to, to take your longs again from a swing traders perspective um so that's what i wanted to cover there and before we get onto the unes elliott wave cam i was going to tell you uh, in this in this video i will tell you exactly what is going to happen on the bitcoin chart so ladies and gentlemen i will tell you now exactly what is going to happen on the bitcoin chart and that is believe it or not that price today will either go up down or sideways yes ladies and gentlemen in technical analysis in trading we acknowledge that price is always going to do one of three 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 things it's going to go up it's going to go down or it's going to go sideways so how is this helping you you might be like of course it's going to do that of course it's going to do that so then how do we actually make this actionable and trade from price doing one of three things well what we're doing is we have seen you know we've been trading many years from this many years of trading we've been able to collect statistics and data from that data we obviously collect our statistics and what we're able to do is recognize certain patterns that will form on the chart and then from statistics be able to trade this so yes of course price is going to go up down or sideways but from 
price going up, down or sideways, it's going to start to form patterns. It's going to start to form recognizable things on the chart, which we have a data set that will tell us, OK, price is most probably going to do this. And we could have, you know, percentage wins on these trades, such as 80 to 90 percent. So the win rates are really, really, really high win rates on the trade. Of course, even with a 90 percent win rate, you can never guarantee the win because, you, you know, you, you got to you got to expect a loss at some point uh, because that's just naturally part of trading. But what we're saying is, of course, of course, price is going to go up, down or sideways. And what we're doing from price going up, down and sideways is recognizing the patterns that we have been trading for many years, collecting data on the patterns, collecting then the statistics of how often they work in uptrends, downtrends, sideways patterns, ranges, and then saying, OK, what, you know, this is the most probable that's going to happen. And that's how we can make actionable trades. That's how we can be consistent over time. And that's how we can make money trading. OK, um, so I just wanted to mention that because there's always this thing of, of people saying, oh, so in today's video, you've said price is going to go up, down or sideways. And I'm always going to, of, of course, you, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to ever say 100 percent price is going down because I'd, I'd look like an idiot to somebody that actually knows what they're on about. Um, because of, we as professional traders acknowledge price is going to go up, down or sideways. I would be an absolute fool to say price is 100 percent going to this level. Da, 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 da. like this is definitely you know I'd, i would look like a fool to anyone that is serious about trading because we always know prices price can do anything it wants you know price is going to do whatever it wants and the only way that we can take trades is by off of our data off of our statistics okay so i hope that really makes sense so i think from the probabilities that i have that price is going to be going down you know but i always have a stop loss and invalidation of, of where i'm wrong on that trade OK, so I just really want to emphasize that. I feel it's an important point. Um, so I hope that helped. And now let's move on to the Elliott Wave count, which when we talk about people making predictions, uh, well, what, could we, what, what can we say about Yunez? This guy has been absolutely nailing everything. Uh, and his predictions have been to the dollar. Like th this is what we call like really great technical analysis. So obviously, well, weeks ago he was he was obviously calling it uh, from the from the low of the B to the high of the X down to the Y, where he had originally had a WXY, and then from that WXY he actually worked out the probabilities that we were going to put in an X, so a WXY XZ. Like this is insane predictions, as you can see, he got the call correct off of that twenty nine thousand dollar low. From that twenty nine thousand dollar low, he got the next prediction right of putting in that high around thirty four thousand dollars, and then he's even got the step right where we're going now he has literally been timing the highs and lows of this market the whole of the time he has timed the low here to the high put in here to the low put in here to the high put in here each step of the way unis has been correctly predicting this market it's absolutely insane amazing this is just in incredible incredible the amount of money that people have been making off of this is just it is amazing that's that's all i can say it's absolutely amazing uh it's it's an absolute pleasure to have yunez inside of the champions because you know this guy is absolutely killing it for us um so yeah he predicted the low the high up here he predicted where the low would be <laughs> even the even the mini pivot lows highs lows and highs it's just absolutely in just absolutely amazing um so shout out to Yunez. And obviously his count is still putting us within a ABC correction at the moment to, to finish off that WXYXZ. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, so I wanted to bring your attention again to where we are within the Elliott Wave count on Yunez, which is currently putting in this ABC correction. Um, you can see how this kind of lines up. <laughs> he was, you know, he was predicting that we'd put in a, a left shoulder ahead and, and a right shoulder here. And so we got the head and shoulders, you got the ABC corrections, you know, it's similar theory you know different different names at the end of the day so it's really 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 impressive um so i wanted to i wanted to make you aware of the invalidation of this trade well, obviously if we're looking at head and shoulders then the invalidation really is coming back above this high isn't it okay so we can we can say with a degree of certainty that if, if we breach thirty five thousand, well i'd say you're moving up to that daily which is around thirty six thousand six hundred, to be honest um but in lo the local term the way that I'm approaching this, uh, and as I have been approaching now since we since we put in that, well, I, for me it was when we broke down on this candle. So I actually didn't manage to short the exact high here. 
uh the way that i managed my trades for if you're interested was i actually was in a scope long at this point okay so i was in a scope long we made managed to go up here i managed to hit take profit one and then i got stopped on the rest of the trade and then as we put where we basically done the retest i managed to get into my shorts um so you know my short is from in a pretty advantageous position um and yeah obviously from here we've made our way down we could put it we could reach up to the highs of around once again about thirty three thousand about thirty three thousand eight hundred. if we want to put in a really nice head and shoulders pan but you know at the end of the day um you got to view this as in trading we got to get our entries we got to understand our take profits we got to understand our stop losses and invalidations if you are entering a trade with no idea why you're entering and you're doing it out of fomo um you're going to lose money if you're entering a trade and you have no idea where your targets and take profits are you're going to lose money if you enter a trade with no idea where your validation is and your stop loss you are going to lose money that is that's the guarantee in trading that you're going to lose money if you don't know what you're doing I, that's the one guarantee that i can give you as well as price is going to go up down or sideways <laughs> those are the two guarantees in trading uh and that you will you will be paying taxes on your crypto winnings um so those are the, those are the guarantees that we can give you then we can start to speak about our probabilities what's the most probable that's going to happen i personally believe it's to the downside um obviously the way to protect us protect protect ourselves for if we're wrong again price can rise here we can be wrong that's absolutely fine well what we're going to do to protect ourselves is you know look at take profits such as that thirty thousand eight hundred twenty dollars you could have currently nailed that as a take profit one you know take 50 percent of the trades in profits put a stop loss in profits well now you're guaranteed money even if you're invalidated and this just flies up from here you know that's the beauty of trading you don't actually have to be right to make money you just have to get a portion of the trade correct you've made money it doesn't matter right now if i'm right or wrong on the rest of this trade to be honest but you know would prefer more downside um and there's one thing that I want to end here with. Uh, I want to say, first of all, if you've enjoyed what I've talked you through today, uh, if we've given you some insights of how we're trading, you know, a little bit of the psychology, why I personally think, I don't even really think you should be trading right now unless, <laughs> unless you're studying the content and, you know, really learning. That's just my opinion though, of course. <laughs> if you want to know my plans right now this is what i've given in the champions live stream as you can see this was a comment from somebody saying insane gains off this analysis bro and that was obviously the training assistants here referring to it this is my basically the plan that i gave in the champions live stream i was giving the entry the stop loss and the take profit i was giving the exact setup which we're currently in right now so if you want those plans you can obviously go across to chartchampions.com sign up to the champions plan if you want the education we've obviously got that for the champions and the contenders uh, all of the all of the education that you're ever going to need <laughs> um and what i was going to say here is i want to actually uh say one thing before before i end here and that was so please give a like if you've enjoyed the content that we've given you today you can smash the likes down below subscribe so you don't miss a video well done units on the elliot wave count we've all got eyes on this <laughs> no pressure of course and the thing that i want to remind you all here is that is the uh problem that's going around with these scammers so I just want to take one minute of your time here. I'm not going to mention this again in a video because it's just too much to get on top of. There are a lot of scammers in the YouTube comments. There's a lot of scammers on Discord. Please, 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 please just take some care. I am never. I will tell you that. Look, look how many DMs. I, I on, on Discord alone, I have 143 unread DMs. On, on Instagram, I have like 300 unread DMs. It's impossible for me to even get through the DMs I receive. So I'm not going to be sending messages to you. I, I just don't have the time to do that. So, you know, if you receive a DM that looks like it's from me, you know for a fact it's not me because i'm not sending dms to people and i'm never going to be sending dms to people i just don't have the time to do that if you receive an email that looks like it's from me but it's from like a gmail or outlook it's not it's not me because we don't have these accounts we have chartchampions.com and that's it so if you're in the youtube comments down below and it looks like it's me it's not okay just know that there are scammers impersonating chart champions it is a scam it's an impersonation we are not going to be telling you send us bitcoin we are not going to be saying go to this website uh, we're not going to be telling you to do these random things like this okay so just remember let everybody know there are impersonators of chart champions the only way you can get into our educational mentorship is via the official website okay we're not going to reach out to you via emails dms any of this stuff we're not going to tell you to send bitcoin anything like this the only way that you can get into the mentorship is by going directly to our website okay we're not going to do there's no other ways so 
you know just please 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 remember that we're not going to be telling you whatsapp discounts anything like this so please just remember that i want to make you all aware so you don't get ripped off by the people that are out in full force right now scamming people it's a shame but if you use a little bit of common sense i do believe that you can you know get out, you know not be scammed essentially but i just want to that's the last time i'm going to mention it because we've tried everything we've tried blocking them deleting the comments and it's impossible they, they make a new account within minutes and they're commenting again it's it's, it's impossible to stay on top of the only way i can do it you know help is basically warning you but i'm not going to do this in every single video because it's just it's you know every video i'll be mentioning it unfortunately um so yeah that's what i've covered in today's video i've covered the position that i'm currently in right now i just want to emphasize once again that my short is from much higher at the moment i i personally wouldn't short down here because i feel that this is a support where you're actually looking to take profits on the short okay so if this is a take profit on the short obviously i wouldn't open a new short here even though i can expect lower i still would not you know i wouldn't I wouldn't open a short here. I would actually take profits on the short. So that's something to bear in mind. Please, please, please bear in mind that. Bear in mind that while we are still looking for lower here on the Bitcoin chart. Shout out once again to Yunez. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash up the likes. And I'm going to say thank you ever so much, everybody. I will catch you in the next analysis and have a absolutely brilliant day. Thank you ever so much and goodbye.